Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. Welcome back to Powerhouse. If you have an expensive system like this home theater, or if you're like me, you just dream about having one, it's easy to forget about all the sensitive equipment that's hidden behind the scenes. But protecting all your components is certainly something you don't want to forget about from power surges or other power quality problems. Join us today is electrician Robin McCauley. She's going to explain to us how they protect this high-tech system and also how you can prevent problems with your own home electronics. And Robin, when we talk about uh, power quality and power surges, you know, I think about, uh, you know, lightning strikes. What other types of problems are there? There's a lot of different types of problems in your home. Uh, some of the main things that you may notice, uh, perhaps your refrigerator kicks on, that motor gets going, and your lights dim very slightly. Uh, also, maybe you come home in the afternoon and your clock's flashing on and off. That may have been caused also by the quality of power in your home spiking or uh, being very low. That can cause a lot of problems for you with the, those small microprocessors in your equipment, whether it be your computer or your home entertainment uh, system, uh, even some other low voltage uh, items in your home that uh, have any type of display or readout on them. How do we prevent these power quality problems? There's a lot of things that we can do to prevent them. The number one thing that people think of is surge protection. Okay. Now, we're behind our, our uh, state-of-the-art home theater right here, and this kind of gives us a look behind this, the scene. And there's a lot going on here in terms of protection, but... What's, what's the biggest thing as we look here in terms of protecting this, this valuable system? Well, anytime we have a large system like this, protection comes in right at the beginning. Uh, and perhaps at that point, we may think about the uh, meter base outside, or we may also think about protecting the entire home as well at the panel. Uh, uh, there are a couple of items that we can use, or at least one item in particular for the service panel that we can use, which looks something like this. And this just takes the place of two breakers in our uh, panel. This will help protect if lightning strikes outside the home or hits the transformer and comes in from that direction. And this is a surge protection device? This is a whole house surge protection. Okay. So and that, this, this should be put on by an electrician like yourself? This should certainly be put on by an electrician since okay. we are dealing with the interior of the panel itself. And we do actually have to wire them in. Okay. So good idea on that one. All right. Then also there's a lot of, you know, places where we plug in in the house. Well, perhaps, you know, the surge protection in the panel may not do everything we need it to. If lightning hits on the opposite side of the home, it's going to travel uh, all the way through the house. It's going to hit everything on the way to the panel. When it hits the panel, yes, that surge arrest will stop it there. But it's that path between where your computer is sitting and your uh, entertainment uh, systems are setting that really need to be addressed as well. So on top of the panel, we also want to add uh, a surge protector such as this. This is a point of attachment surge protector. And this isn't, a lot of folks would say, oh, Robert, that's a power strip. But it's not. And the main thing you want to look for there, of course, is read the package carefully okay. when you purchase it. Make sure that it does have protection. Most of, of the strips such as this or surge arrests like this do have some type of warranty on them as well. Um, also, some of them will have places for your low voltage. Uh, this one here happens to have one for your phone line. You have a phone line in and a phone line out. Uh, perhaps you have satellite TV or you have the internet hooked up to your computer. You want to make sure that it has a surge protection prior to getting to the computer. So this is one way to do it. Okay. Also, some of them have cable line protection as well, where you can go in with your cable line and then back out to your piece of equipment, and that's very helpful. Good, good points of protection. Now, Robin, as we look around the house, I think about there's a lot of things we should protect, and, and you mentioned one I wasn't even thinking about, our garage door openers. That's right. Our, most people don't think of our garage door openers as also having low voltage on them. Low voltage is sensitive. If lightning comes through, it comes through the 120 volts and goes through the piece of equipment like your garage door opener. And then it travels down those little tiny wires that you might see to the two sensors on either side of the door. It'll take them out. If you're not quite sure what to do, go ahead and give an electrical contractor a call. Have them walk through the house with you and point those out. Point those things out to you. And then also you can have them, you know, give you an idea of how much it's going to cost to protect those items, uh, especially if we're dealing with the panel. We want to make sure that they're involved there. Well, again, we all may not have a great state-of-the-art system like this home theater, but we all have 
different uh, types of equipment that, you know, some sizable dollars invested, so it makes sense to protect it at this point. Surge protection for your power quality. That's right. All right, Robin McCauley, thanks a lot. A lot of great information. You know, I'm going to go home and take a look at what I have in my home office because I might need a little more surge protection there. Thanks for joining us. Right.